What's up, chocolatiers? It's me, Zumi. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a Friday night fun in love with Psychic and my mobile for free in an hour. Phew! That's a lot to say, is it? Well, without further ado, let's go! Okay, we'll go over the first step of the process of making mud. Making sprites. It's pretty simple. The apps are going to need our Ibis Paint, Flip a Clip or Rough Animator, File Manager or Zarchiver, Code Editor, and your Psych Engine. Alright, let's get this started. Step 1. Go to Ibis Paint. Open a new canvas and start drawing your character. For me, I'm using negative or inverted salting. It's okay if you can use any character for a reference. I don't mind. You may want to draw references for all your poses before you start drawing the real thing. But if you want to do it how you want it, I think that might work too. This will be your reference sheet. Pretty nice, right? Oh, you may want to put all your poses in PNG images. Like these. Don't delete them though. You're gonna need them later for tracing. Now get out another canvas and import a picture of boyfriend. And draw over your references. Make sure you draw your body parts in different layers and not just on one layer. Now a thing about coloring your characters. If it has no shading, it's a low quality mod. If it has shading, it's a high quality mod. Or if you want to go ham and turn RTX on, you are freaking sick. Now after that, save all your layers as transparent PNG images. If there's something different to trace over, draw it on another layer. Do the same with all other layers too. Repeat the process until you're done. Step 2. Open an animation program. Of of course, you may be a flip a clip user, and once you're done making your animations, you're gonna have to make a PNG sequence. And once you get that, you're gonna have to pay for flip a clip plus, which is really annoying! Screw it! You'd prefer to use Rough Animator instead. Plus, if you don't have the application yet, you should get it now! Search for the Rough Animator APKs on Google, not built for beginners. Now, open Rough Animator and create a new project. Don't forget to rename it and set your frames per second. Okay, so what I did was import all my layers from my Ibis Paint. Then, I import another empty layer and import another image. Then you cannot forget to label them too. Okay, now that's out of the way, time to start animating your character. To copy a frame, tap Add Drawing, then tap Duplicate After. Make sure you do that with every layer, from top to bottom. Now go to the layer you want to transform first. Let's try the body. Select the lasso tool and draw over your layer. You see that circle right there? That, my friend, is an anchor point. Now drag the point all the way to the bottom to where the feet are. And then transform your body until it looks like this. Keep lassoing and transform all your layers until you're done. Now after that, you finally have your first two frames for your idle animation. Add a few more frames in between, press play and boom! Your idle animation is finally finished. Now for your note poses. Copy and paste another frame again. If the body part has another image that goes with it, delete that one and replace it with the other image. Do the exact same with the other parts too. You can move a few parts if you're able to. Use the lasso tool again and move your body parts in slightly in any direction. This will also be useful in your other note poses too. I will be right back for the finished results. One hour later. And there he is! He's done! Now, on to the next step. Step 3. Making your sprite sheet. Right after you get done with Rough Animator, tap on the three lines and then tap Export Video. Make sure to save the format as a PNG image sequence and make sure it has a transparent background. Now press OK to watch it render. Now create a new folder and rename it dot rough animator assets and put it in there. Now go to file manager and open your internal storage. Go to your rough animator assets, go to where your file is and rename all your images. We have our idle dance, our sing note down, left, right and up. Good. Now to create our sprite sheet. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you need a free texture packet too. Now the last thing you're gonna do is open your texture packer, then press add images. 
Select all your PNG images in your file of sprites, and it'll arrange your sprites for you. Then press the export button. And after that, you just have a freshly cooked ZIP. All right, you get the deal. Let's move on. Step four, adding your sprite sheet. Extract your ZIP file. You will now wind up with a PNG and an XML. Select those two and move them to your .psych engine file. Then go to mods, images, then characters, and put your files in there. Alright then, now that's done, let's move on to the next step. <gasps> Alright, here comes the hard part. Step 5, coding. You and all that crap is hard on computers, but wait, there's an easy way. Copy your random JSON file and paste it into your Sign Engine Characters file. Then rename your JSON file with a random character name. Then open that JSON file into your code editor. Once your code editor is open, press the magnifying glass button. After that, replace the random name with your name. Don't forget to tap replace all. Now check your code from the top to the very bottom to see if it works when you open the gate. Grab right down, left, right, up, or idle, dead, and all that stuff, and blah, blah, blah. Now after a few seconds of not so hard work, your code is finally finished. If you want to make a few arrangements, you can if you want to. If it's not so complicated. Now all you gotta do is save your code. Now as a code is saved, it's ready to use in the game. Period. Point. Blank. Whoa, Zoomy Chill. You did not have to go hard on that part, did you? Uh, yeah, everyone has a struggle with coding, so... <sighs> Alright, you know the drill. Next step, please. Step 6. Testing your sprite sheet. Open your sign engine and tap the screen to begin. Now press the E button and go to something that's called Character Editor. Now once that's open, go to your character list, tap on your character name, and then you will have a big surprise! Hello there, negative friend! As you can see that the problem is our character is floating. How do we fix that? We move our character. Move your character's idle to where the surface of the stage is. Now that's done, you can now position your note poses. Set the idle as your ghost animation. Run through all your poses and set them to where the idle animation is. This might take a little time to do so. After all that moving and positioning and all that crap, your results should look like this. Do you think that's all you need to do? <laughs> no, that is not all, my friend. That is not all. Open your file manager again. Then go to your .psych engine file. Then go to your saves. Now tap the most recent file in your saves. Then move it. After you move your JSON file, press the overwrite icon. Now let's go back to F and F. Now reopen your psychism and select a random song from your free play. I'm just gonna go with, um, Fresh. Once you open the song, go to your chart editor. Now once that's open, go to the song tab. Now go to the opponent list. Keep scrolling until you see your character name. Hey look, there it is! Okay, looks like everything's all set. Then, press the save button on top. After that, press the A button. And, sooner or later, you should end up with something like this. Hey, look at that! It worked! I hope this tutorial worked out for all of you as well. Well, I guess that's all for today's tutorial. See you next time on... Psych Engine Tutorials. With Zoomy!